Lightning coming to you again. You see the title of the video. We doing manga reviews now. Because, you know, when some shit just too hot, you can't just help but talk about it, right? So, you already see. We talking about the Big Blood One Piece. And we talking about the latest chapter. Uh, I gotta say, wonderfully done. Like, you know, I'm telling you, each shot, each... I started reading the manga, like, recently. Because I couldn't wait for the anime no more. Because they be going on too many hiatuses. And every chapter, bro, it just been a movie, bro. Movie. I was hearing the, the Star Hot Steam song in my head the whole time reading this shit, man. And the same thing with this one, bro. We start off with, at Mary Jawas. Every time you see Mary Jawas, you know some big shit about to go down, bro. Because this is the end game, niggas, right here. And the end game, the four elders of the, the end game, they, they shook it. You can see them sweating. Talking about how, how the big blood, the big blood emerged. The big blood Nika emerged, finally. And how he took down two emperors, like they they shook, they shook, and they and they and they upset too, cause they not opening up Wano so that so that so they can run in there and kill him real quick while he's recovering. So, so yeah, and you know a lot of people was wondering where the elephant went, like why he randomly. I saw some reviews of people wondering where the elephant went. Obviously, the elephant was gonna open up Wano, bro. Like the elephant was gonna open up Wano. Somehow that big trunk he was gonna make a lot of damage, open up the seas. I don't know what he was gonna do, but obviously he was there. The elephant was there to open up Wano. Mom was like, "Yo, Zanisha, I'm not opening up Wano yet." And the elephant left. That's why the elephant was there, bro. I see a lot of people like, "Oh, what was the point of Zanisha being there if he just randomly left?" No, bro. The elephant was there to open up Wano, but whatever. So, anyways, it starts off the big blood stuck there. And this sword guy, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the last dude Zoro fights, bro. I could just tell. You got a sword. Zoro got a sword, and there's mad threes on how these elder niggas use lost fruit to become to become immortal, like back in the day, and that's why they they've been running the world for eighteen for eight hundred years. So, yeah, bro, starts off with the big blood, and only only real interesting part what they said right here was when they said we can still have Nico Robin brought to us, correct? Um, you know, a lot like you know a lot of people interpret that as like. Like they still have CP agents uh in in there that can get Nico Robin, but bro, what CP agent gonna be able to get Nico Robin? Nah, they can't be talking about some random CP agent. So I'm thinking, it's either uh that that Admiral guy that's showing up, Green Bull or whatever that they say might be Zero's father. I'm thinking it's either him they they sent to go get her, or it might be Shanks, yo. Cause remember Shanks. Went to them for whatever reason. Now, I don't think Shanks would, would is the type to, like, give up one of Luffy's crewmates. You know, I don't think Shanks, I don't think that's Shanks art. But we still don't know why Shanks went to these guys who are obviously the big bads of the story. And, uh, you know, the Thanos is of this fucking One Piece universe. And uh, we, we still don't know why uh, he was there, who he was talking about. So they might have Shanks in their back pocket to do some, to do some grimy shit for them. So, uh, in, in exchange for something, so we don't, we, we don't know what it is, but, but yeah, it's either that or they obviously sent I'm a green bull to get, to get him. Cause you can't just send a little, a little CP nines in there because obviously they all got washed. <laughs> Only one survived. So yeah, obviously not, not, not the way. So yeah. And then, you know, it went, it went and, oh, and uh, let's talk about real nigga Hawkins real quick. My nigga Hawkins, a lot of people yeah, I didn't understand his debt. Uh, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, they sw oh, the switched it up. Uh, because the 1% the guy he was talking about us first was uh, was uh, Drake. or And how Drake and Luffy and the others only had 1% to beat, uh, chance to beat Kaido. Which, you know, made sense. That's how he felt. But then Hawkins reveals that, nah, I did the odds on me if I stayed with Kaido. Only had 1% chance to live. Which, you know, doesn't really make sense. Because, you know, I'm sure. Because, I mean, shit, nigga. Sticking with Kaido, y'all, yeah, your odds are pretty great. Kaido and Big Mom, your odds are pretty great. But I guess he was like, but, you know, he can see he can see the future. And he was like, I guess either, yeah. Yeah, either way, I think it was a real nigga debt. Because he was like, it was like, it wasn't me. Because, you know, his, his power is seeing the future. And he did the odds on me and what he should do. And he's like, you know what? If I sit with Kaido, I only got a 1% chance to live, but, like, but like I ain't the type to go crawling back, you know what I mean? So, that's a real nigga dead. I mean, he was grimy for the betraying kid at first, but, you know, crawling back the kid, he was like, you know, nigga, I'm, I'm a new generation pirate. I'm going to run this one out, and, you know, he died. So, you know, that's a real nigga dead. I'll say he died like a real nigga in the end. I'll give him that.
This power was wild though. It's probably this power was grimy, but I'll say yeah, the real nigga dead in the end. And this right here, that's when I knew the, the the shit was over, man. Seven days later, shit, nigga. You can't tell me you can't tell me the fight's still going on if it's seven days later. So yeah, the, shit, the fight's over. Um, past two chapters, I was whole, I was thinking, yo, Kaido gonna come out of that lava at some point, right? I was thinking like, yo, Kaido coming out that lava. You know, him and Big Mom gonna fuse their devil fruits and do something wild with that volcano. But, yeah, nah, he's not coming back. Kaido really gone. Which is, you know, I'm, you know, people can be like, ah, oh, you know, I know a lot of people not gonna like that. But I think it's kind of poetic in a way. Because, you know, Odin, Odin died in a, you know, Odin lost off some bullshit. And he died in a tub of basically lava. And basically Kaido... I don't think, you know, it's probably, he's probably not dead because there's no way they're going to kill off Big Mom like that. Because Big Mom didn't even have a crew with her. Like, it's kind of like an unfair fight if you don't got your crew. Like, Big Mom's full crew wasn't there. It was only Pero Pero Lick Lick guy was there. So, Big Mom didn't have her full crew. So, I don't think they're killing off Big Mom without, without giving her a fear one. You know what I mean? Like, crew versus crew type shit. But... You know, if it is end up that Kaido died in some lava, like it'd be kind of poetic seeing how Odin died. So I ain't, I ain't mad at it. And you know, and then it starts off. You know, you see the kids getting the true history. And you know, I, I just watched this one, the, the the One Piece anime episode, and I and I and I saw this snake, the snake woman. I was like, yo, where's the snake woman from? And I was like, oh, she was the teacher. That's like little shits that you miss. Like I just realized that the snake woman teaching the kids. Was actually on that Spider Woman's team and shit like that. Shit was kind of dope. Yeah, but just real niggas shit. We used to have Kimo talk about real niggas that died. Yo, Izo Izo dying was kind of like wow. Like I had a feeling the Astro dude was dead, which you know he had a real nigga dead too. But Izo dying was like damn, bro. Izo didn't even die off some um. Uh, fighting the beast fire. She died off CP zero, which is kind of like damn. You know, she died fighting. She died protecting. Robin, basically, you know what I mean? Like, CP0 is going after Robin, and she died off protecting Robin, bro. She didn't even die off, um, she didn't even, like, she, she had a real nigga debt, but, bro, it's kind of, it's like, damn, bro, you didn't even die off the Beast Pirates, bro. And, like, no one knows, and, like, the fact that no one knows how she died, no one knows who really took her down, you know what I mean? They're just gonna assume that she died off some fight with the Beast Pirates type shit, but she really died fucking fighting them goddamn CP0 clowns, yo. So, you know, R.I.P. is old, bro, but that's some bullshit. Damn. My man, Marco. Uh, then, yo, then, yeah, the, yeah, my nigga Luffy and Zora woke up. I saw this panel, my nigga Luffy and Zora, and I was like, yeah, the real is back, yo. And, yeah, after this, the, the shit was just pure comedy, bro. Like, them not realizing who Momo was. And, like, you know, Momo, Momo thinking he could do that same fucker with Nami. And then and, and 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 then and her kicking her off and like my nigga Brooke and Sanji like yeah nigga it's over for that that shit's over nigga welcome to the club yeah my nigga Brooke and Sanji's like yeah it's over for that Momo welcome to the club that shit was funny and then it was then it was um yeah and I, yeah Yamato and the crew man but what I what 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 I found most interesting here was fucking uh. Was I was confirmed that Yamato really thinks she a dude because she was like, nah, they don't got mixed bats, nah, me. So you know, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to say nah. And then in the background, you see, you see Zoro saying that, oh, I must have returned from hell to fucking kill your ass, Sanji. Like that shit, it is pure comedy, bro. But yeah, Momo, Momo really thinks she a dude. And then you see fucking Momo in the men's bath. If you look in the back, you see my nigga Sanji and Book going wild. It's fucking pure comedy, bro. Then I guess Sanji worked on all the fucking shit, the, all the shit, the pirate crew ships, which is some real nigga shit to do. Uh uh uh. So yeah, nah, and I really want to know what, what the law is gonna do, cause like the alliance is over now, they won, you know. So I want to know what law is gonna do. Is law gonna be an enemy to Luffy now? After Luffy saved him with Doflamingo, beat fucking Kaido, is is law gonna be an enemy to Luffy? And now, um, and we see fucking Kappa saying, saying there's new emperors. Now, I saw a guy just say, like, Law's not going to be an emperor. It's probably going to be Kid and Luffy. But that don't make no sense, bro. Because, listen, the big blood Law, 
Did you see what the big blood law, law did to Big Mom when he shot that shit in the ground? Fuck out of here, bro. The big, if anything, they're gonna be five emperors, bro. Luffy, Law, Kid, Shanks, Blackbeard. There's gonna be five emperors now, bro. Because ain't no way that that shit ain't say that Law's an emperor, bro. Law gotta be the big blood. Law gotta be an emperor. Kid ain't winning that fight without Law putting a couple holes in Big Mom, nigga. Fuck out of here. Law awakened this shit and did some big blood shit, nigga. Fuck out of here. Now, what I don't understand, though, is why a kid, you know, seven-day rested kid, ain't fucking fuck this Apu nigga up. Like, why I, oh, like, nigga, like, you show your face around me after I just beat the dude you betrayed me for. I'm, like, it's on sight, nigga. That's why I want to know why I can't even murk that nigga Apu. And then at the end, we see supposedly Zoro's father pulling up. You know, I think, I think it might be off some... You know, he he might be pulling up off of orders from the world government to get Robin, and, and then he's going to reveal that, you know, he might be Zoro's father and shit. Adam Ryuki in, is in play. He might be, he might be, he might be pulling up to show that he's Zoro's father and shit, but, yeah, we don't know. 